I've just got goosebumps. Like I've seen this man before. I don't know where. Like I don't. I, if I seen him on the street, I wouldn't know his name. But I've seen his face. Are you a religious person? No, I'm an atheist. Of course, I don't really believe in God, uh, but uh, I can't deny that these dreams are happening. It's just past the point of denial. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. My name is Nasser and I'm from London in the United Kingdom. Today I'm here in the city of Northampton where there is a Palestinian demonstration going on. Uh, one of the things I want to highlight is that there is actually a form of shirk present in front of this demonstration. As you can see there, there is two idols. We call them statues nowadays, but those shouldn't exist according to Islam because it is uh, an offense to our creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it's, it's one of the reasons why we are failing as an ummah. Now, I'm going to be speaking to the people of Northampton to find out if they know about Muhammad Qasim and his dreams, and if they know who the dream man is. And we'll see you on the next one. Hello. Hi. Welcome to my studio. <laughs> Great, thanks for having me. Um, Great room. <laughs> my name is Nasser, what's your name? Zina. And where are you from, Zina? Uh, so I obviously live in the UK. I'm half Tunisian and half Hungarian. Oh wow, mashallah. So um, I hear that you are uh, the ones who are facilitating this demonstration today? Yes, so I help put together the local demos for Northamptonshire Palestine Solidarity Campaign. So you can find us on North Hans PSC. No problem. So shout out to the North Hans PSC for this. Um, and shout out to Zina. May Allah actually reward you for all the efforts that you go through to making an awareness about Gaza and all of the things that's going on right now. This is very, very important as we know. So today my topic is about dreams and dreams generally and dreams in, in religion as well. So I want to know something, Zina. Tell me, have you had any dreams and then later on you found that those dreams came true? Uh, actually, a, a lot of times. Uh, no way. Yeah, I've tried to deny it because I'm a very skeptical person, but it got to the point where I was Googling my dreams when I woke up. And then when I Google it, it either has just happened or the next couple of days it will happen. So yeah, it, it all, like throughout my whole adult life. Wow, so throughout your whole adult life. Um, are you a religious person? No, I'm an atheist. You're an atheist? Yeah. SubhanAllah, we have someone who doesn't believe in religion. Uh, uh, however, she believes that dreams can come true. So what do you say to the people who say that you have to be religious or pious to have a dream that comes true? Or, or a dream that it, 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 if it comes true, it must have come from God, right? I'm not trying to conv convert you into any religion. I'm not trying to trap you. Yeah. What I'm trying to say is, is that how is it possible for a human being to have something and then intuitively it come later, true later on? I'm still trying to figure that out myself because I'm an atheist. Uh, so, of course, I don't really believe in God, uh, but uh, I can't deny that these dreams are happening. It's just past the point of denial. That's important about dreams in Islam. So the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, has said, if you see me in a dream, then you saw me. You didn't see the devil. The devil cannot copy my form. So me being a religious person as of the last six months, I take that to heart now. Because I never used to be, you know, in fact, I used to be an atheist at one point. I, I didn't believe in anything because that's just the way my life was going. But as of now, as of now, a lot of things have changed. You've seen the events that's going on with Gaza and, and the situation of the whole world. So what I want to bring you towards is there is a man who's been having dreams and he's been having many, many dreams since a very young child, since about the age of five. He's been having dreams and those dreams have been coming true consecutively. Yeah. So he's, he's not predicted, but he's been told in his dreams and shown scenarios which have actually played out. And it's not to do with like me, it's not to do with you. It's actually to do with the situation around the world. So the dreams that you've had, they're, they're about you, right? Yeah, mainly personal. Yeah, there's been a couple that, that's been um, sort of around the world, but it's been mainly personal things. Okay, so this individual, his name is Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim. He is from the Ahlul Bayt, meaning he is from the family of the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him. Now, many people are speaking about his dreams and spreading them because actually, even today, there are more dreams coming true that he said. Now, if you wanted to prove to people these dreams are coming true, what would you do? Wow. How, how would you try to get the message out to tell people that your dreams are coming true? I think it's one of those things that if you, you either believe it or you don't, I think because I'm such a skeptic, I don't even push my agenda on other people because they, I've had people look at me and, and say that, you know, this can't be true. But then uh, my close friends, I just keep telling them about it. And then I just I tell them about the dream I've had. And then sometimes that that will come true later on. So then they can see for themselves that that's come true. If I can tell you my dream today, and then it comes true tomorrow, you'll see for yourself. 
So you're saying that you'd inform them of the dream before it happens? Yeah, so... And they, you're close friends. And yes. then when it happens, they say, okay, you were right. Yes. SubhanAllah. So, so um, actually what Muhammad Qasim has done is he's actually journaled all of his dreams. Okay. Yeah. So, and, and in, in fact, he actually put his dreams on YouTube as well, saying I had a dream about this and that, and they're coming true today. And obviously, you know, because you have firsthand experience from your own dreams and the people around you that they're skeptical about it, even though you know you're right. How does that make you feel? I can't blame other people for not believing. Um, I can only speak for myself. Yeah, I can't, I can't blame other people for not believing because actually at one point I didn't even believe myself. So it took a lot of um, seeing that, is, you know, a lot of repetition and a lot of these dreams happening all the time, um, different dreams and different actions becoming true for me to believe it. So I've, I've had to, but I have had to Google these dreams. I've had to go and do my research and then I believed. There's that word, research, ladies and gentlemen. Now, let me tell you something about Muhammad Qasim. He himself has said that he's been commanded by the Prophet and God to spread his dreams. And he's done it. And he's also said to people, if you don't want to believe in the dreams, there's no force in you believing the dreams. But if you believe in the dreams, then that is your choice and your choice alone. And, and we tell everybody that they should do their diligence by doing their own research, which is exactly what you said. You did your research. You did your own investigation. Absolutely. Now, would you like to see what this man looks like? <laughs> I'll show you a picture Go of him. On then. I am curious. <laughs> okay, this is what he looks like. Um, he looks familiar. That is exactly what we're telling people. That this man himself has been appearing in people's dreams. He looks very familiar. That's giving me goosebumps. I'm sorry that I had to put you through that. No. But he's a real man. I know him personally. I actually flew to Pakistan to meet this man. I have seen him in my dreams before I even knew he was a real man. Now, I, I want, I, I'm curious to know what you're thinking right now. I've just got goosebumps. Like, I've seen this man before. I don't know where. Like, I don't. I, if I seen him on the street, I wouldn't know his name, but I've seen his face. Okay, so this is Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim, and he's also known as the Dream Man. That's crazy. How, is I, how have I not heard of this before? This is what we're trying to do. We're trying to inform people about this because it's a very, very big thing that's going on. Now, I want to ask you one last question, my sister Zina, right? Tell me. What will you do now that I've informed you about this? I'm going to go home and do my research. <laughs> you heard it from my sister Zina, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your no, time. You're welcome. That was crazy. That was crazy.